for eating disorders specifically, and this week we've only really talked about Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving is centered around food. Overeating is expected and many times encouraged, but this holiday can cause anxiety for those living with an eating disorder. Reporter Mary Klingler talked to a local dietitian who shares tips on how to manage the added stress. Mary? Beth, we are thinking about so much during the holidays, but we can't forget about mental health. And for those who are struggling with that, in some, food is a trigger. The memories we were creating, I didn't really feel a part of them because I was so focused on my body or what I was eating. Kaylin Couples isn't alone. Nearly 30 million Americans will struggle with eating disorders in their lifetime. My recovery journey from an eating disorder, um, holidays were a really stressful time. I think there's this, um, you know, the narrative I've been speaking about where um, we have to restrict or earn the meals. She says she struggled with food restriction through high school and college. Today, Caitlin says her restrictive eating behavior is under control. Restricting all day and saving up for that meal or working out or whatever. I just remember in the holiday seasons not really being able to be very present. Now she's a dietitian and she helps others who struggle with eating disorders. The first and very foremost thing is to not change the way that you eat on Thanksgiving Day to like compensate for Thanksgiving dinner. She says too much change can be overwhelming. And if you're helping someone with an eating disorder, it's important to be their advocate in this type of social setting. If there's a lot of diet talk going on at the table, being that person can just be like, hey, let's talk about something else. Like that doesn't feel great um, for me, maybe in someone else at the table. She says help take the spotlight off that person. Whether it's being the person that eats with them, being the person that portions their plate for them, being the person that sits outside while other people are, you know, talking about how guilty they feel for what they've eaten or the diet they're going on, um, just being available. Eating disorders are not easy to talk about, but they are life threatening. That's why she says the person to reach out first might just be the family member across the holiday table. Beth. Mary Klingler, thank you so much. And if you or someone you know is struggling with an eating disorder, there is help. You can call or text the National Eating Disorders Helpline.